Thank you very much. Uh, hello, everyone, and good morning. Uh, so my name is Azdin Bo Abdullah from the University of Koblenz, Lando, and today I'm going to present to you um, our short paper, which is Vision and Natural Language for Metadata Extraction from PDF uh, Documents. So making scientific, uh, do making scientific documents available with their metadata has become an important task due to the increase of digital libraries usage and the increase of uh, scientific documents in online format. However, there is a huge portion of scientific documents, especially old ones, especially uh, old ones, especially with other languages that have missing or incomplete metadata, such as the author, the journal, uh, and DOI. Uh, and making this, these metadata available is an important task to make uh, and make the task of retrieving documents much easier. Uh, in contrast to uh, English uh, documents and English scientific papers, which they often use a number of standard layouts, other languages such as German often use a large variety of uh, layouts, which makes the metadata extraction a hard task uh, for the current model uh, to extract data from. Therefore, there is currently a lack for uh, metadata extraction uh, in the field of German language and other languages. Uh, that is the reason why we are proposing a multimodal approach that uses both visual and textual information in order to achieve the task of metadata, metadata extraction to make the uh, task for uh, retrieving German documents easier and indexing German scientific documents uh, much easier. Uh, so, uh, as all other fields, the field of metadata extraction has been tackled previously by many other works, and these works can be mainly categorized into two uh, main categories. The first one, which is natural language processing that often use traditional machine learning, uh, rule-based and deep learning approaches. So for traditional machine learning approaches uh, and rule-based approaches, they seem to have good accuracy uh, when dealing with limited number of English layouts. However, when tackling other languages and large number of uh, layouts, we often incur issues uh, encountering encounter issues extracting metadata from these documents. That is the reason why most of the recent papers uh, use deep learning approaches, especially deep neural network, in order to achieve metadata extraction from large number uh, of layouts. And experiments have shown that uh, indeed including deep learning uh, or using deep learning approach to extract metadata improves significantly from using only traditional and rule-based approaches. And for computer vision, uh, it has yet to widespread across the field of metadata extraction. Um, and research papers have shown that um, computer vision can be actually used to extract data from images and from documents and also to enhance the uh, PDF analysis tools and the performance of these PDF analysis tools. For example, there is a paper published in GCDL last year here, uh, called MexPub that uses computer vision in order to extract German metadata extraction from scientific documents and that employs uh, a computer vision model that uh, takes document and treats document as pixel by pixel level. The uh, authors, however, um, despite, the, uh, despite having great improvement from uh, other traditional uh, works and natural language processing works, the authors have suggested that including contextual information can actually increase uh, the accuracy much uh, further. Um, and for our proposed approach, uh, we uh, went with the, uh, with the suggestion of the author and we included uh, textual information as a modality for, for this approach, such that we are using uh, two multimodalities modalities here. Uh, the first one, which is visual information, where we take the uh, attributes for our features, for example, the position and the size of the elements, the area or occupation area that elements taken, uh, as well as the textual information, such as the context, the meaning of the text and the elements. Um, so this is uh, a brief uh, overall architecture that shows the overall architecture of our model, where each PDF document um, in overall passes through three submodels. So the first submodel, which is an image vision uh, model, uh, which is Mask RCNN, the same used with uh, MaxPub. And the second submodel is uh, a BioLSTM NLP model, which takes the document and treat document uh, as text. So uh, each PDF document passes through two steps at the beginning, wh where the first step is uh, a computer vision model that extracts metadata and gives us an output of uh, 10 uh, for each region of interest, where nine, uh, where we have nine classes and the 10th ten class is uh, classified as other, as well as the NLP, uh, which does the same for our uh, document. Then both both outputs of the image vision and the uh, NLP model uh, are combined together and fed into a last model, which is as well, uh, which is uh, as well a BioLSTM model uh, that takes both uh, outputs and gives us the final uh, metadata extraction for all 
uh, our elements. So um, if we take a look at um, the last model architecture where we are using here uh, a BioLSEM model with two hidden layers and where the output of this BioLSEM model is fed into a fully connected layer in order to to reach uh, a final soft max uh, distribution for each uh, element, whether the element belongs to title, uh, author, or abstract, or other classes. Uh, so, uh, for the data set, uh, because there is no such publicly available annotated German data set, uh, manually annotating documents is a very hard task because uh, we also we don't want to only annotate the text information but also annotate images, which is a very important task. So, for that reason, we only annotated 300 documents uh, manually. Uh, that are collected from the SSR dataset, specifically from the social science uh, repository. Uh, and then, we, uh, in order to tackle that particular issue, we generated a document and we collected 13 most commonly used templates in the social sciences for German language. Uh, and then we generated uh, documents or generated docu scientific documents in, uh, using these documents uh, from data collected from the SSR, MediaRap, and DBLP uh, repositories. Uh, so, um, because essentially each submodel is can be used to extract metadata alone, we compared each modality with the multimodality at the end, where we can see that including multimodality improves results significantly uh, than rather than uh, using only one modality, where we see that here the NLP and the computer vision submodels underperformed compared to using all, uh, uh, to using both uh, modalities. Um, and um, here for the comparison, we compared our model along with other models that were used for German metadata extraction, such as MaxPub and Grobit. As we can see here that our model in overall outperformed the two other models that, we, uh, that are used for German metadata extraction, except for one particular class, which is uh, for two particular classes, which, is, which are email and uh, author. And this can be... Uh, the reason for one weakness that the uh, model can have, which is the uh, error accumulation, because we are using two submodels output as an input for another submodel. If one particular model at the end have uh, an, uh, one particular model, for example, the NLP or the computer vision model have an error, it is high likely that it will affect the final result for the last model. Therefore, accumulation of error is high likely for this particular case. Um, and uh, as conclusion here, um, so our architecture, our proposed architecture takes uh, visual and textual information from each document, specifically German uh, documents, in order to make uh, metadata extraction. And uh, we can see that um, in employing a multimodal approach achieved actually good result than uh, only one modality. Uh, for future work and future improvements, um, it is um, highly recommended to train the model on larger data set with a higher number of templates because currently we are only using uh, 13 templates, but it is also um, a good idea to include a large number of uh, of templates, um, as well as including a final stacked uh, CRF layer uh, at the end for the BioLSEM model is a good idea based on the results of uh, a, a paper pu published in 2018 where it, it states that CRF layer can improve the results for BioLSEM models for extraction. Um, and uh, also reducing the model complexity to mi minimize the accumulation of error uh, and also the computation time is highly suggested because currently we are having three submodels where each submodel is trained separately um, and this increases the, uh, the time, computation time, and also if one particular model, as said before, have an error, it will highly likely result an error for the final output. Uh, it is also uh, a good idea to compare the model not only with German language, but also with other languages, for example, the English language um, or other languages to see the performance of this particular uh, approach. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is my presentation and thank you very much for your attention. Uh, I would be happy to answer any of your questions.